What's good guys, the Ida from Afro Kicks and welcome back to another video. This video is a little bit different because instead of sneakers today, we are customizing a basketball. I was asked by Adidas to create this ball as a gift for Nick Galway, who is the Vice President of Global Design at Adidas Originals. Now guys, I've got a whole story time slash behind the scenes video coming soon explaining the whole background behind these basketballs but today's video is purely a tutorial on how to customize a basketball specifically a rubber basketball as this ball isn't going to be used to play with i'm not going to bother prepping it beforehand i'm just going to get straight in by putting down a base coat of white using my airbrush and angelus paints just want to note that pretty much everything that I mentioned in today's video will be linked in the description below so if you do want to buy an airbrush for example click the link in the description to see exactly which ones I use. After three or four coats of white you should be ready to add your next colour. Because I've already done this custom before, I already had the stencils pre-made and saved in my silhouette studio. So all I'm doing right now is removing the Adidas trefoil, is that you say trefoil logo out of the shapes so that they can be separately cut. I do have a tutorial on exactly how I make my stencils. So if you do want to watch a more in-depth video on that, click that thing right there or the link in the description box to watch that. Once the design is ready to be cut, I send it straight to my Silhouette Cameo Free, place the vinyl on the cutting board and press send. Using a weeding tool, I remove all the vinyl pieces that I don't need for this custom. If I was customizing sneakers, I would use the different part of the stencil. I would use the outlines rather than the actual cut pieces, if that makes sense. So where it says superstar right here, I would have used the outlines that I'm currently taking off rather than the actual cut out Adidas superstar. This is because on rubber, once you put that stencil down and use heat to set it, it's pretty much stuck there, it's permanent. So instead of using the stencil to aid the art, we're going to actually use this stencil as part of the art. Did you know that you could actually use an airbrush to change the color of your stencil? Just like this. This means that if I was doing a custom where I needed a specific shape to be a specific colour and I was putting it on something rubber, I could just airbrush it the exact colour that I need. Just like here, I needed a kind of off black, which my original vinyl was not, so I created the paint colour and airbrushed it right on. If you're using this method, you need to be a bit careful because sometimes the paint that you've airbrushed on can be left on the paper backing of your vinyl and transfer onto the unwanted areas of your transfer tape. Sometimes this can be transferred onto the item that you're customizing, but not always. If this may become an issue for you, it is possible to actually wipe that airbrushed paint off, the one that's on the back of your vinyl with like a cotton bud or something similar. When doing 
a custom like this that has a lot of repetitive shapes it's a good idea to do everything at the same time so what i'm doing here is cutting all the transfer tape that i'm going to need for each piece then i'm going to place the transfer tape on each piece of vinyl then go over and press down each piece of vinyl with a ruler and just making sure that everything is just done in batches just makes the whole custom go a lot faster When customizing a basketball you have to keep in mind the spherical shape because of this sometimes placing vinyl onto the ball is a bit difficult if you're placing down words depending on the size of the letters it may not be that hard just like this adidas superstar it was pretty straightforward just place down the transfer tape heat it up with the heat gun and peel it off but i will show you later on when it comes a bit more tricky Once you've removed your transfer tape you want to heat up your shapes with the heat gun again pressing down as you heat them to make sure that they're nice and secure onto the ball. When placing shapes like this one onto the ball this is when it starts to become a bit more tricky. What you don't want to do is just place the vinyl down and press and hope that it stays in that position because it's not going to. If you were to just try and place it down then you will end up with a kind of fold towards the bottom of your shape. So instead you want to start from the top and work your way down but you have to be very careful with this as well. You have to go straight down with both sides going down the same amount each time. Otherwise, if you end up at an angle like this, you will run into problems right at the bottom where your shape will begin to fold. And you can try and save it as much as you can, but they're not always salvageable. <laughs> Here is the proper way to do it. Place your vinyl in the area that you want it in. Rub down the top of the vinyl to make sure that it's nice and secure and start peeling back. Making sure to apply even pressure on both sides while you pull straight down. Once again using a heat gun to make sure that it is nice and secure. Because of the zigzag pattern of the shape I'm using Angelus's angular brush to paint the insides. Once all the painting is complete, it's time to add the Adidas Trefoil slash Trefoil logo back in. Using the same method of starting from the top and working your way down to the bottom. And that's 
it guys that's how i customize a rubber basketball for people who just want to put it on display Thank you.